Assalamu alaikum. We're going to learn about division as grouping. Here I have some marbles. I am going to divide the total number of marbles by the total number of objects in each group by the total number of marbles in each group. We use this formula when we have to find out how many groups do we have when we don't know the number of groups but we know how many there are in each group. So we have 16 marbles in all and when I divide these marbles into groups of four, there are four marbles in each group. And I get to know that I have four groups of 16 marbles. So 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Look at this number sentence. So we have 12 objects and we are going to divide those into three groups to find out how many objects do we have in each group. Here we know the number of groups, but we don't know how many objects do we have in each group. Let's suppose we have 12 apples. So I will keep putting my apples into these groups A, B and C until I will have divided all 12 apples equally among three groups. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So can you see how many apples we have in each group? Yes, we have four apples in each group. So twelve divided by three equals Four. This is our answer. So now we know that we have four apples in each group. Look at this number sentence. Nine divided by three equals what? Nine is the total number of objects and three is the number of groups. So I will divide these counters into three groups to see how many counters do I get in each group. Let's begin. One, two, three. One, two, three. I have more counters, so I will divide these counters as well. One, two, three. So when I divide the counters equally, I get three counters in each group. So my answer is 9 divided by 3 equals how many in each group? 3. Division is the inverse of multiplication. Or in other words, we can say that division is the opposite of multiplication. Look at this number sentence. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. The opposite multiplication sentence for this number sentence will be 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. We are reading the same division sentence backwards, changing the symbols only. Let's look at another example. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. By dividing, we are getting less. And by multiplying, we are getting more.